and we're live. Hello, hello. Hello. I might fall asleep, just let you know. <laughs> and pooped out. I won't let her. No rest for the weary. Hello, ladies and gents. We have gents. You never know; they might be hiding in the background. Oops. Now let's turn the lights off. Trying to wake you up. That's gonna put me to sleep. Yeah. All right. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> Hope everybody's had a good weekend. Mine was busy, busy, busy. Uh, I did a lot of gilding this weekend. That paint makes you high. Just letting you know. <laughs> I went through two bottles of gilding paint. But I can show you how I gilded. So if you remember all those box top videos, so I was gilding like crazy, but I did them gold, and then I did some silver, not too many, because this titanium silver is hard to get. I did find some and I ordered four bottles. So I kind of like the silver too. So I did, um, gosh, I think it was like 14 box tops. You won't ever see this video unless I get desperate for a video. <laughs> Why not? This is the one when I spun it, it flew off the spinner. <laughs> it's actually a funny video. But these will all get cleaned up. Now, if you're using gilding paint, and you get it on your painting. Goof off takes it right off. Does not hurt the resin at all. I'm so glad I what, figured that out. Kathy Carr wants to know what brand is the gilt paint? Uh, folk art. Um, do I have one over here? Yes, I do. Google. Says, did Google. You do mine? I did, Maria. So it's brush lettering paint, gilded gold. You can get it on Plaid online. It's six dollars a bottle. Grab Maria's over there. I didn't put your box together yet, Maria, but I can show you the box top. This one? That one. So I did it silver. So it came out really nice. Those are the where the hinges go. That was my choice, Maria. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Don't argue with me. You won't win. <laughs> and then, that one over there. Grab that um, flower painting in the back, and I'll show them that one. This one? That one. Thanks, babe. So, remember I told you I did a try at Fiona's thingy? <laughs> so I resined it because it's probably uh, 
probably the best one I've had so far. I've only done two, so I really shouldn't say that. <laughs> but then I gilded this one silver too. Thanks for posting that link. Um, Hobby Lobby only has the gold, so if you want the silver, you have to get it from plaid. But I did lots of box tops. I got them all finished. Those will be in my Etsy shop. And then if they don't sell, we'll put them up in our functional auction for uh, November. So we are doing our auction this Saturday. I'm working on all that. That's why I'm exhausted. I know. I'm t I am so tired today. Hi from watching Walking Dead last night. I got all excited. <laughs> you can put that in the cart if you want. So you'll have room for wet paintings. Do you want these put in there too or no? You can if you want. They're just the bottoms. And we're going to use the wet one here. Move this down. And we'll use the top one. All right. Here, I'll get it. You go paint. <laughs> you go. Well, we got to show them the. Oh, yeah. You go. Last paint. week's. You go. Hello, everyone. Okay, so last week, this here was what I tried to do with the intermingling flip cups, which didn't kind of intermingle like I thought it should go, but it didn't come out bad. I agree. So that was the first one. Which one did you do? Um, After that. That's flip and dry. It's old. Yeah, YouTube's being funky tonight, so I had to start the live twice. Um, Terry, there's videos up on those boxes, so if you watch the videos and let me know which ones, and then you can send me an email before I list them. Okay, so then there was this one. I love the way that came out. Do you have any flash in there? Um, shimmers. That lemon lime. I did. I think I might have put. Um, I don't know. I have to watch the live again. You should do that in your spare time. Okay. Yeah. Then we had one of Brian's gadgets that he had sent us. Pouring cups. If I remember correctly, Shirley, you were calling this one out. <laughs> she was saying tips on that. It dried better than it looked wet, that's for sure. I like what the balloon did over here. Not so much here. Yeah, you kind of mushed it. Kind of. She's still saying mine. <laughs> And last but not least, the 6x24. That one will definitely get resin. Brian wants to know what toy you used on that other one. That was the uh, four, oh, the four, the four compartment. Remember you had one that you had to kind of save, which I believe was this in here. That's because I put that spot in with the spatula. 
So that was the last week's. This one, Diane, is not sold yet, no. They sell fast. <laughs> as soon as I do one, I get an email, usually. You want to show them the box Brian sent us? Where is that box? It's right there on the shipping. Hiding it. Just remember, I'm using one of those. Tonight. Which one? The swirly one. So, Mr. Brian sent us a little goodie box. Look at all these toys. Surely I sent it to whatever the PayPal address was. You might need to change that, hon. These are available on Brian's website. Brian only needs 20 subs to get to 1K. We need to get Brian to 1K. Ooh, that one's kind of cool. Can't see it, babe. I had to look at it myself first. That's the little one. I'm using the big one. You can use the little one. Uh, you know, I'll let you use the. I'm using that one. The big one. <laughs> hmm. Brian, you outdid yourself. Spontaneous creations. We have one like that, a black one, I think. Yeah, I don't think it's the exact same. And I think you have one of those. I haven't seen it lately. Brian, when do you work a regular job? That's the question I have. He puts these on the printer and goes to work. I'm trying to do my best man of white. This one looks kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. It's like you're up to clean, huh? Yes. <laughs> These are not designed with cleaning. Of course, Brian, no, I'll tell those, you. Those straw brush, they work pretty good. The straw brushes don't work. Clean them right away. Yep, rinse them immediately. So thank you, Brian. We're going to let the boss try the first one out. Shirley, I have so much candy here. I am so bad. Every time we go to the grocery store, I buy another bag of Halloween candy. We're not, we're not even going to be here for Halloween. <laughs> I'm not taking her anymore. <laughs> Tell them about the Reese and the Hershey. And no, the I'm not saying nothing about <laughs> nothing. What are they, like ding-dongs, kind of? What was it? Hershey, Reese, what was the other one? Oreo. Oreo. They're like brownie cupcake-y things that are stuffed. So I stood there, and I'm like, I really want the Reese one. And then I said, oh, what the, the heck, one. I'll buy one of each. <laughs> the Hershey one looks pretty good, too. I had the Hershey one last night. It was delicious. No, we are not showing those tonight. No, because it'll make you hungry. We went to the grocery store hungry, so let's just say that. <laughs> Which is a very bad thing to do. You want me to bring that camera in closer? Yeah, we probably should. 
I'm Never. still I'm still limping. Got home. It was what eight o'clock. <laughs> still hadn't eaten dinner. Still hadn't had dinner. Didn't know what we wanted. Sheesh. We had so much to choose from. Isn't that you made tacos, right? Is that what we made? I don't think that was the. If I don't go to the store hungry, I don't buy anything. That's when we should go. But then I don't buy anything. That's when we should go, and then their bank account will go to zero. Yeah. Cheryl, I have been stretching and doing my ballerina pose. Oops. <laughs> She had me stretch her out in the store. It felt so good to have you pull my leg up. <laughs> I pulled her leg. This is the last week. If it doesn't, it is getting better. It's actually moved to a different area. It's not on the top of my femur anymore. It's down closer to my groin, but it still hurts. And I know when I'm standing here working, it's when I twist is when it really hurts. So I've been sitting a lot. Okay, back to the gadgets. <laughs> you really did those, Gerald. <laughs> what? Grab my leg and get the market. <laughs> Well, everybody knows what kind of outfits people wear there. It's getting better. Um, I just know if I go back to the doctor, he's going to make me go for physical therapy. And I don't, one, I don't have time. Two, our copay is too high. <laughs> so... I may have to talk to Nate since Nate's going to school to be a physical therapist assistant. I may have to talk to Nate. Seem to be. Is he going to be a PhD? What, what's he doing? PTA. PTA. Tried, tried to upgrade to Nate, but she wouldn't let me. Colors, colors, colors. I wouldn't even know where to put pain cream because that it's like it's not in a general area that I can explain. And I look at the skeletal system and the muscular system online and I'm trying to show Alan right where it hurts, but there's nothing there. So it's like it's got to be pulling from the hip towards my pelvis, I, I can't, I just, I can't explain it. It's weird. And if I don't take Advil, then it seems like it gets inflamed and it starts aggravating my sciatica. So I don't want that to happen. Yeah, I think I have arthritis in my back, but it's weird because when my hip hurts, my back doesn't bother me. So that's a good thing, I guess. Oh, you're going greens. Greens and yellows. Okay. There's lots of um, metallics we can use up over there, too. Over here? Yeah, lots of golds and... You don't want to use the chrome up. I know, I need to move that cart. I'm so sorry. The whites and the blacks are on top of their mind. That's okay. I can maneuver. My back is fine. I'm just old. Yeah, I don't take a lot, Sue. Um, usually maybe two doses a day. But I've tried um, Back and Body Works pretty good from Bear. 
but that's not good on my stomach, so I don't take that a lot. Um, I tried the Tylenol, the two eight-hour ones, and those it didn't even touch it. I did take a bath, though. Um, when was it? That was a week ago. Was it a week ago? I felt like a whale. I couldn't get out of the bathtub. She has showered since that time, yeah. people, so. It's like, I'm like trying to get in the tub, and I'm like, don't slip, because if I slip, anything, like if I slide my foot, it really hurts. So I get in there, and then I'm like, oh, God, now I have to sit down. And then I'm to get out, it was awful trying to get out. I was like, Alan, throw me a line. <laughs> Two penguins walk into a bar. <laughs> yeah, heat definitely feels better than ice packs, that's for sure. I tried a cane when we were at Walmart. I couldn't do it because I felt like I was going to break my wrist. <laughs> well, the object is not to support your entire weight with one hand. Okay, 14 by 14 canvas. I'm going to go with a gadget. One of the juicers. Elevated and my favorite little pizza stool. Hopefully I don't do that in the middle of the... Um, surely you have until the end of the month. So you'll have at least half down. I was going to send you that email today and I totally forgot again. I'm sorry, honey. You didn't send that yet? No. 15,000 things going on. Now you got 15,001. No, too, because I ran out of a couple of paint colors I have to mix. My Etsy sales are awesome. Hopefully everybody's enjoying them. The paints. I've ordered them, yeah. and they're coming without any problems, timely. and. I've been checking them while they're getting delivered really fast. Because they're usually packed up for me when I leave in the morning, and I take them at lunchtime. Shall he post one in the group today? Putting our white base down. Um, Mona, I, I thought I sent you my address, but I will, I will send you an email. Actually, I will make sure I do both of those tonight before I go to bed. I'll make sure she does it before I go to bed. Because she might forget three or four hours later. I did see that, Gloria. Ellen did that, was it last year for our Halloween show? What's that? That um, webbed basket. You poured paint over it. The webbed basket. Remember the spider web basket? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Alan did it last year. Yeah, it's time to bring those toys down. Oh, God. Test tubes and... Seasonal... Mar Marcy's came out pretty cool. Seasonal stuff has to go upstairs. We just don't have room for it all. Well, we have the shed now. 
Yeah. We have two sheds. You won't have to take it back up. <laughs> Keep dokey. And just spray my gadget with the WD-40 silicone spray. Color choices. You ready for this? Probably not. Military green shimmer. Don't use that a lot. No, I did for bombing. Deco art rich espresso. Another one we don't use a lot. Yeah, you definitely have to shake that one. Definitely have to shake this one. This one's been around. It sounds fun. And we have. Bumblebee yellow. Brian's annoying green. Alan's just starting, Laura. <laughs> Lucas gold bronze. Christina's Laguna Shimmer. What's your contrast color? Contrast. Did you use Deep Lagoon? Pardon me? Did you add Deep Lagoon in there? I did not. You could. That could be your contrast. This is where I want There's it. jacket over there if you need it. It fit in there really nice. So you're saying I need one more color? I think you need a darker green. You need some contrast in there. You're just going to be yellowy green. Yellowy greenish brown. Black brown. Oh, that's right. Whatever. It's your painting. You do what you want. Yeah. So I've been. To so there. So there. The question is, what order do I want these to come out in? Okay. Let's get this show started. Please. Military green shimmer. Can you use it? 14 by 14 canvas. Well, now Maria's eating Snickers. <laughs> I hope my doctor's not watching because I've been eating a lot of Snickers too. Yeah, I know. You'll narc on me. I know. And it'll be more for you. It's not quite level. That looks a little better. Okay, bumblebee yellow. Some we people haven't think, missed anything, Donna. He's just starting. Some people think that's my mustard. Now we're going to go with the Deco Art Rich Espresso. It's kind of a metallic brown, brown bronze ish. And to Brian's annoying green. really not annoying either. I'm 
seeing a little area where it's not quite coming out right over the here. Behind you if you need it there. On the cart. Okay. Now oh, let's give it a little more of Brian's favorite color. Then to Christina's Laguna Shimmer. Before we put that in. Kelly Christmas Green. I used to have a glass paint that was that color. It was called Grass Green. White. Not too much. Too much. Yeah. Great. You can always pull through it though. Just watching. See how it is distributing in the canvas. Then we're going to Christina's Laguna Shimmer. More of a pale yellow. Kind of like maple seal, but a little bit brighter. Uh oh, rounds here. <laughs> Finishing with Lucas Gold Bronze. Kind of another metallic brown, just a lighter. Oh, that's right. The clocks change, Kristen. <laughs> Somebody's been posting that it goes ahead an hour. No. It's, it falls back an hour. It's the spring ahead, fall back. You just got to remember that. I know. It was... Um, Terry, I've got paints that I've had for probably four or five years. They're perfectly fine. As long as they're kept tight, they should be fine. And if they do seem a little thin, you can always... Now we're talking about two things. Oh. Not pre-mix. No. I'm going to go one more round. Same color combination. Military green. Bumblebee yellow. One of the Parage Posse paints. To the... Deco Art Rich Espresso. That looks yummy going down there, doesn't it? <laughs> looks like chocolate. And some white. Hi, Sarah. Brian's annoying green. Christina's Laguna Shimmer. Every time you pour that over there, it looks like an ice cream cone. That's not even nice teasing about that. And then finishing with Lucas Gold Brands. And we're waiting to see what's going on underneath that pizza table. It's a pizza pie. <laughs> now I'm supposed to be doing this. You could blow on it, force it down.
Isn't that what you do? Tap your fingers? Yep. Don't confuse them. They'll think it's me. How are they going to confuse me and you? Look at That's true. You have hairy hair. Exactly. does look like a chocolate fountain. Yeah, kinda. Is it done dripping yet? I love the, how it is on, the, on your side. Be careful. You're using my turkey face, but now I have to disinfect it. <laughs> I oh, only drooled in it a little. Thanks. All right. I don't see any drips on this side. Oh, bummer. What's a bummer? Well, your side's pretty. You see the yellow with the different edges? Right here? What are you going to do with that middle? Brian, what are we going to do with that middle? <laughs> Balloon it. <laughs> I would love to spin it now, but it's a little too late for that. Why? That canvas sets right on top of the spinner. You don't even have to tack it down. So you're saying I should do that? Well, you got to do something with the middle first. You're just going to spin out that big gob in the middle. I love the yellow with the gold brands inside it. It's pretty. This in here. Yeah. I'd balloon it. That center? Yeah. Before or after I stretch it? Before. Okay. Otherwise it's going to be too big of an area to balloon it. Straight up. Don't twist it. Can I can I close my eyes first? Yeah. You don't want to do it too much in the front. Yeah, I got enough brown in there already. I don't need more. Sorry, Sue. <laughs> She's the one that's very sensitive to those sounds. Sorry. I want to see what it looks like when it's all opened up. Should I take it right over the edge? That's the big question. I would stretch it out first. You can always go back. Well, when you have nitro gloves on against a balloon, it's a double squeak. <laughs> Did anybody get their prizes from Thursday? I 
opção. Yeah, she actually posted it too. I didn't see it. I haven't been on Facebook much today. I cleaned about a hundred paintings today. So you only have what? A hundred more to go? No, I actually got them all done. Didn't realize how many big canvases we have. It wasn't me. Nope. <laughs> the biggest ones I've done is what, 12 by 16? Shirley got hers. I haven't sent Maria's out yet because she's got the other box. that together tomorrow yeah so I can't watch basketball games because of the squeaky sneakers it drives me crazy too <coughs> I always say erky 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 <laughs> I put the second coat on today joy it's still a little sticky or I'd show it to you I might be able to pull the tray out and show it to you, though. Why do ducks have feathers? Uh-huh, right. Were well, you going to give it away to me? I mean, I'm the only one that can't see what Brian said. Did I send his? To cover their butt quacks. <laughs> Oh, Brian. No, that wasn't Brian. That was Gabby. <laughs> She's I trying to bring that that's opening, Ellen. paint back to the center. It's looking good. She's I'm going to take it down this way, which I think I do first. No, because what I want is I want to see this here open up a little. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't want the edge on that other end. Is, it needs to be manipulated or poured off. Yeah, it needs to be. Needs to be gone. Manipulated, mutilated. Hi, Lori. That's going to be pretty when it dries with those metallics in there. Is Carrie here? Mm -hmm. She did a couple pours with Steve today. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's a good one, Tam. What do you get when you cross a vampire with a snowman? Mm -hmm. 
Alan. Don't look. I have no idea. I'm trying to concentrate on the painting. <laughs> What do I want to do? Pardon me? You're jiggling the camera. Sorry. You've got to change that yet, too. What do I want to do next? Now we have a torch it. I still don't like what's going on in the center, though. That's a result of the pizza tray. Speaking of Nate, one down is winning. Did she see the face in her painting? I don't. All right. So the question is I don't like this white. So how do I correct that? Ideas? I'm open to ideas. I already used the balloon once. I know the balloon will open up more cells like what is in here. That white will sink a little. Correct? Not a lot. That's already setting on top of white. Do we go with the balloon again? I love what's going on through here. It's like one quarter of it. It's really, really thin lines. And as you get to the outer part, you kind of lose some of that. Sue saying skewer. Mona saying no balloon. No <laughs> balloon. What do you think, hon? Um, I would probably use a skewer and pull it towards that other side. Just not a lot, though. Like maybe four or five. Pull it which way, though? Towards the... This yeah. one? No, towards the other way. Towards me. Well, I guess it would be towards... Towards me? No, no, no. Because you're backwards, so towards that way. That way? Yeah, into that green. Into the green. Follow the follow the petal marks. Can you see the petal marks like I can? You see the petal marks over here, but that's not the way we're going. Yeah, but to the other side, you can see little faint ones. I can see them from here. Little faint ones here and here yeah. and here. Pull them towards the outside edges. Don't go too far over that. A little more? Yeah, follow each one up. Just like a dad. Keep going. Oh, good, Monica. Did Monica get her winning? She got her box. I can't believe that was her first win. She was so excited. 
Maria just made me jealous. Why? She's going to put her jammy top on. <laughs> Sorry, Maria, I beat you to it. I already got mine on. Laura, you've never won a prize from us? How is that possible? I don't know. Oh, another hurricane. Yeah, number 26, tropical depression for the season. Yes, Shell. This has got to go. That looks better now that you pulled that white in a little bit. Just don't overdo it. I got one more that needs to go. A lot in. Thank you, Shirley. We appreciate you. That looks much better. I know you're going to say stop. As he keeps going. <laughs> right, stop. It looks fine. You're just saying that. No, I'm not. I'm actually anxious to see how that dries with all that metallic in there. It came out much different than what I thought it was going to. What did you think it was going to? Well, I, did, I forgot that you were using the espresso. So I thought you were just going to have like a bright green painting. Fooled you, didn't I? Yeah, you fooled me. Okay. I just wish I Brian says it's a Venus flytrap. It could be. Uh, we could use that out here once in a while. Yeah, if people close the doors, I wouldn't have to worry about it at all. Yeah, I know. <laughs> people stop going to work and leaving the door open. I want to torch it one more time. All right. You might get want to get that away while I move this. To oh, you're coming this way? Drying rack. Alrighty. Because I don't want to drip on it. Gosh, no. That's not a funny thing to say when I'm holding a resin beach. <laughs> She's lost all sense of humor. I have. I'm tired. I have no patience for silliness when I'm tired. Tom foolery. Tom foolery. Did you get paint on my clean black pad already? Not me. Uh uh. I haven't painted yet. Not me. It's a figment of your imagination. Not at all. I think I'm going to put one more coat on this one. You're fine. You're fine. You're going to use white paint? Thank you, Nate. I appreciate you. I don't know yet. <laughs> so this was Joy's choice. Oh. I think I might put one more coat on it, though, because... I like my corners a little smoother.
So what is the secret to getting smoother corners? Well, it's getting enough resin on top. Plus I have cardboard underneath now, so it's pushing up the center a little bit so it flows over better. But I think I'm going to put one more coat on. It's still just, I did it this morning, the second coat. So I'll probably put another coat on tomorrow. That way it'll be nice and stiff. I won't have to um, have cardboard on it tomorrow to push up because it's already flowed over. So that one's going back in the yeah, dust-free dust zone. Yes, please. Here, right? Huh? Right here? Top shelf. Just be careful of that plastic. I lift it with my hand when I put that in. Be very careful with it, Joy. Don't you dare say oops. Watch that plastic. I pull it up. Okay. Makes me nervous. <laughs> Don't say oops. Just kidding, Joy. It's scary. When you say oops. Yes, Brian, I know, Cinderella. <laughs> Speaking of Ellie. Oh, Ellie's got a new video up, guys. I know some of you have already seen it. She was eating mush. Ah, the weight is awful. She's a little porgy. She is chunky. She's a cutie, though. She's a good thing for a puppy. She's cute. She's a cutie patootie. I need a canvas, don't well, I? What do you need? Um, Come on, I'm Cinderella. What do you want? <laughs> you and Brian are going to get biffed. I haven't biffed Alan in a long time. Brian says 24 by 24. 16 by 20 sounds better. Not quite there, Brian. Um, I want to use Brian's new toy here. Because he's got... That's right there. Oh my gosh, that camera's way too far away. For this one. Sorry, guys. Free ride. He's trying to make you dizzy, that's all. I am, I'm sorry. So this is a pretty cool contraption. You pour your paint in here and it comes out these holes on the way down into a spiral. So let's do a black background and let's do some bright colors. Mo says everyone's using Brian's toys. If they can get them. Yeah, his printer. He's been, he's been. His printer was acting up. Selling like crazy. Sorry, Beth. Since like you've been buffering for a long time. I know everybody's buffering. Okay. Brian, uh, Linda wants to know, does Brian have a name for that toy? Brian, do you have a name for that toy? He's got two different sizes. I, I call it the circular slide. He's got, no, he's got it somewhere on this. Is that, uh, that's the black bronze that we're using. This is spiral cup. Spiral cup. This is the mega spiral cup. This is the bigger one. So this is black bronze, not just black. I like Mo's Sidewinder. Because that's what he needs to call it. Uh, Donna wants to know what's in your black mix that you just poured. In this, flow trial and water. And then I put some bronze paint in with the black, equal parts. And Laura says, is that a color you made? It's a color I'm making, yes. I don't I don't have access to this bronze anymore. So that's why it's not in the paint collection. But if you want it, I can always mix it for you. Can you pull that canvas a little more away from you? Just like it's a full view. 
Much better. I love to get to see your reflection. Would you like an apron? I'm tired. <laughs> no excuses. I have to look at it, though, because which way do you go? Actually, you can use it either way, right, Bri? Is it the same both ways, Brian? I wonder what a dirty pour would look like coming out of there. Brian says no. And he said no. Mom oh. says no. So there's the... Gosh. <laughs> that. So this is the bottom, correct? Holes at the bottom. Well, there's holes up here, too. Okay. He's like, let me see two. I figured it out. I'm Polish. I can figure things out. He said, correct. Okay. So, I, I'm going to use... Have you decided how you're going to pour it? I'm going to... I don't know if I want to... If I do one color at a time, it's not going to come out that full, is it? Well, it depends how fast you pour it. I'm, see, but I'm pouring with bottles. I don't pour with cups. All right. Let me figure this out. I agree, Melissa. She says the spiral is kind of interesting. It is very interesting. So let's go. I know I want this. I need to reach. I need to bring those color shifts down. I need a step stool. What colors would you like? I'm, go I'm getting, I'm good. Okay. The lemon lime. And. Mm. Uh, let's see. Brian says it will come out the holes with battles. Okay. Max said she saw Brian has a video on this. Al, could you grab me the white flash and the silver flash? I'm going to try that instead of the snowy. Oops. Don't say I'm oops. I'm just in that oopsie mood. Anything else? I think that's it. I was going to put a pink in there. I changed my mind. All right. Let's start with. Let's start with the PBO blue green because I know that will have probably a reaction with the black. Well, congratulations, Nate. He said he passed his first exam. Yay! PTA course with top score and only missed one question on the timed final. And he's starting the 18th month program next May. Next May? Right. Or, uh, Nate, she needs you now. <laughs> okay, here we go. Did you name your colors? This is the PBO Blue Green. Okay. I say them as I do them. Slow your roll. <laughs> oh, nice seeing you, Nate. Sorry. COVID related. Mm hmm. Folk Art, Silver Flash. See, I don't have anything coming out of this hole. Is it not making it down there? It's okay, Tammy. We're only on the second painting. Because I did the first one. Nothing come out of that hole either. Okay. Lemon Lime Shimmer. Coming out of the bottom. That's good, Nate. White nice. flash. It's got time to art. Yeah, he's setting up to paint again. And Brian says it will. There's nothing coming More out of pain. there. That was plum flash. 
faster, he said. Faster. It's really coming out of this one. I know. I Probably that's why, right? Shots is Brian's model is more paint. Can't have too much paint. That's my motto too. Faster, faster. That's why I said I should have just done a cup. Ooh, that's interesting. So I like those two bottom holes, Bry. Those are kind of cool. So Linda's got a question. Does the paint have to pile up inside, Brian? Well, it's coming out of the bottom holes right now. Or is it the bottom swirl? Let's go one more round. It's a lot of paint. That'll fill the canvas. Let that run down. Hmm. I know it's black underneath there. It and says it kind of piles up, but on the way down. So we did have paint come out of this hole here and this hole here and a little bit out of this one. And then some out of this one. Oops. I want to blow that down though. Ryan says, did you miss the top hole? I tried to get it out of that hole. That's what I was aiming for, but I just got a little bit. Oh, you should see the bottom, guys. It's really cool. <laughs> what am I going to do with that? I like that the black came in, though. I think I'll wreck that a little bit. This is really pretty right here. What do you do with that purple? I know I gotta wreck it a little bit. Well, there's a lot of paint here. I don't want to muddy it up though. Julie says maybe draw through it. That's what I'm doing. She's lagging. They're lagging because we're buffering, but they're buffering. All right. I don't want to mess too much because I might get muddy. Do, do, do. I got black all over me. Brian's holding his breath. Don't hold it too long, Brian. <laughs> that was fun, actually. That toy contraption, gadget, whatever you want to call it. All right. Let's torch. The Brian There's a lot of paint here, so we're going to definitely do some stretching. Mm -hmm. 
just got that. I have eyes. I watched the black paint. Okay. Yeah, Brian says, yep, yeah, you got to work that paint. Stretching it out, opening it up before I start tilting. That middle's going to be fun, I think, when I start going over the edge. Looks like a snake. I don't even think I have to catch the corner. There's lots of paint here. You're loving that, those color choices. And the white and the silver are both flashes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because where I put it here, it looks pink. All right, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna go this way next. Because I like the way it's opening up on the edges. We're gonna end up with the middle as a, as the painting, I think. Kathy Carr wants to know: Is that white flash yours? No. Ooh, look at my pretty hand. <laughs> you want a tile with that? Look how pretty it is. What? All right. Oh, I like this too. I don't know which way I want to go next. So that white is. Uh, Color shift. Color shift flash. Yeah, they came out with a white and a black. Kit Car said she's never seen it. Um, I think it just came out like last month, maybe. I don't know. I saw it, ordered it. <laughs> I actually bought um, two silvers because I like things that shift with silver. Angel, when did you sneak in here? I didn't see you come in. Everything's opening up in that black. It's kind of neat. Thank you, Shelly. She posted the link for the color ship white flash. Mm. Good night, Angela. Okay, Car said there's a purple snail in the middle. I know, he's cute. Or a weird bird with feathers. That'd be his head. I, I love the information down and said, looking at it your way, it looks like a dancing hippo. Brian says, very spontaneous results. <laughs> it's selling up as it's as it's settling, too. And Donna says, it's a butterfly. Hmm. I don't think I want to mess with it. I want to see what it's going to do as it dries. Hello, Lisa. Glad you could join us. 
because there is some cells coming up through that purple. Actually, that's the plum flash. Good night, Shirley. I'll make sure she sends you that email tonight. Yes, he will make sure I send that email tonight. So if I forget, it's Alan's fault. <laughs> Mo, Mo says she sees a cuttlefish. I keep seeing a bird. That's the great thing about this type of art, is people <laughs> will see different things <clears throat> in the same painting. Okay. Remember the one we did for the graduation present a couple years ago? For who? For uh, oh, for Sharon's daughter. Elizabeth? Elizabeth, yeah. I know they sat there, the three of them. I see, I see. Miss Wyatt sees a cuttlefish too. Now you're going to make me go Google a cuttlefish. And I'm really digging those colors there. So I wouldn't have had to use that much paint now that it's stretched out. All right, that's got to go on the second shot. What's this? this Yours? One. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a good color palette. Everybody's liking the colors. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm kind of anxious to see how that flash dries. All right, all right, you ready for this? Kristen sees a hippo in a tutu. That shouldn't see me in a tutu. Uh, Julie B says she sees a little black dragon at the top right. Let's play with these colors a smidge. Good night, Melissa. Thank you for joining us. Jen Sweeney wants to know any capuchons or coasters? I want to do some coasters for sure. Oh, Brian's got the count I, up. Don't know where, where I want to dip though. Two, two, two. Yeah, you already did that today. I think of everybody that's going on the retreat, he's probably the most excited. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Some of these, some people have been waiting for. Over a year That'll now. Be two years, yeah. Can you cut me? For me? Cups. 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 Hello, Karen. Glad you could join us. Twisted Art Lady says, I can't wait for my channel to grow up so I get invited to retreats. Actual life goal. You don't have to be invited. As long as you're a member of the Parach Posse, you can go on the retreat. I don't have any rooms. <laughs> but as much of a success that we believe it's going to be next year. We hope. No, it will. I'm going to be there. Brian's going to be there. It's going to be fun. Oh, my gosh. And then every year I'll be like, Brian, you have to come. <laughs> We've got to have the dudes there. Yeah, that that's true. Monica says, I wish you could have one in the fall. The problem with the fall. Hurricane season. You're in hurricane season. And that's right on the beach, so it's like we get nailed every year. Of course, we're on the east coast of North Carolina, so 
Merlin in one of the target zones. Right now, it seems this year has been the golf. Okay. I know later in the season that we'll get, we'll get it. Yeah, we'll get it. At the uh, it East Coast. So. Keep our fingers crossed it doesn't happen. Um, well, in a way, I'm kind of glad we didn't go this year because they had one while we were would have been there. That's true. So we would all been stuck in the house. So Patricia Rouse says, how about one in the mountains? Well, we did that. Alan and I did that. We went to Maria's cabins. Yeah, but that was our own little retreat. We painted. We did. We filmed. We did. I took all a bunch of supplies. <laughs> we did. Monica came and painted with us. Yes. So it was kind of a mini retreat. That I did Patricia, absolutely nothing. Patricia says, I need in North Carolina. In oh, North in Carolina. the mountains. Yeah. You know, there's another place we could potentially take a look at. If you want to look at the mountains, and that would be Gatlinburg. Just over the North Carolina border in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. That's a very pretty region. I know. I'm, I'm more of a beach girl, though. I like to just sit and watch the water. I'm not a mountain girl. I don't know. You enjoyed that week with Maria. That's because there was no one around us. No one. That's the reason we go to the mountains. Except for, except for the, the bear that was visiting every night. says, <laughs> closer to me, Ryan says, how about Williamsburg? All right, if you guys have it, take a look at Jen's uh, message. Uh, let's see, Karen Strong says, I live on a beach. If only we could. What, live on a beach? Live on a beach. We need a house at the beach and a house at the mountains. Good night, Mandana. Thank you for joining us. Wendana. 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 I'm sorry. I don't know. She's going to teach us how to say her she's name. Going to teach me. <laughs> Babe, where's the book? What? The bucket. The bucket is right there. Oh, I just tripped in my hand. Good thing you used your hand. Why? Because otherwise you'd be on the floor. Have you looked at the floor lately? <laughs> All right. Do you know what you're going to do next? Something quick because it's we took a lot of time. We took a lot of time on those two paintings. Did, did you hear the emphasis? We. I still think I was a lot shorter than you. <laughs> Can you put them up for me? Because I can't reach up there. That cart's in the way. All those. Yeah. yeah. You killed that one. Yeah. Oh, so I was going to tell you guys, the float trawl that I ordered that was bad was replaced. So I got to call Flood and tell them not to send me a check. And it was thank you. Oh, yeah, it was thank you. So, little, little piece of advice. Don't mix it with our sloth float because it makes it even worse. <laughs> Brian wants me to do a small quad cup. Brian, you did see the result of the large quad cup I did last week. I mean, it came out okay, but I... Uh, Mona, yes, we are full. Things come up. Sometimes people have to cancel. We actually had a couple last year of well, this year earlier we had a lot of cancellations last year but we had people to take the spots mary ellen says alan if you're quick enough she'll have time for a quick flip and drag <laughs> does she know who she's talking about i have an idea It'll be quick. Yeah, Mona, you can uh, 
your puppy got the last one, so. But if someone cancels out of a king, I will let you know. We can move you over there. Brian, I'm not canceling my spot. Brian, you can't cancel because I have you by the front door. You are part of my security team. <laughs> Yeah, Mona, I would have talked to you about that immediately because it's easier for you guys. All right, Al, what you painting? No. Oh. Mm. Brian said I should do a quad cup. Can't go wrong with purples and blues. You got 15 minutes because it only takes me like seven minutes to look through. Not even. Piece of cake. Ooh, speaking of cake, we got that pie left over from last oh night. <laughs> Cheesecake? Cheesecake. Yeah. Mm. It's really a pie. Cheese pie. But. Color choices. Morning pansy shimmer. I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. I'll never be able to say that. Yeah. <laughs> you just have to do what I do. Sleeping Beauty turquoise shimmer. What's that? Carolina blue shimmer. My One of my favorite colors. Purple raspberry. Decor one penny. Oh. And white, right? You want a little white, you got a little white. Okay. I don't know where I'm going to put it. You but... snowy white. Adds more sparkles. Snowy white. Where is it? Oh. How many paints we got on the wall right now? Do you know? I have no clue. I have not counted. Well, there's 22 Snowy on a shelf with the small Four cup, flip cup. Once he figures out his order. <laughs> e mo. I don't know if you're gonna like that raspberry next to that metallic. This here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Which bottle is the ball under? That shouldn't have a problem. Does it have a problem? Silicone? It has a little problem. Doesn't get used enough. How could this not get used enough? I know it's a fresh posse paint. We don't use that color very often. Pick the top off and run a skewer through us and we don't have an issue. There was no clumps. Okay. One by fourteen canvas. How much time do I have left? <laughs> 12 minutes.
for those writing that down. That's the Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Nate, you should with all that paint you have. Use it up. Start fresh. Deco Arts Warm Penny. Used to be a popular color. We haven't used it a lot lately. Carolina Sh Blue Shimmer. Yeah, I wouldn't fill those cups out because you only need about eight ounces of paint for that canvas. That's it. Oh, Brian says 9.625 ounces of paint. <laughs> These are what, five ounce cups? Yeah. Come on, Brian. I follow your motto. You can't use 20. You can't use too much paint. No. Actually, what you've got right now is perfect. Oh, Karen, if I had to move, I would probably just say I would hire someone to pack it all up and move it. <laughs> It'd take a whole moving truck just to do my studio. No, it wouldn't. Yes, it would. Do you, remember, do you remember when we moved here from Yeah, New but you got to think canvas. It has to be protected, you know? It would be one separate trip. I was looking at a house today, by the way. You, did you stop doing that? <laughs> you, you got a puppy coming. I know. That's why I was looking at it. You don't need a new house for a puppy. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. <laughs> He did not, Brian. What, spray my cups? Yeah. Why would I do that? Because you normally do. Not me. I normally forget. I'm going to give that a little swirl, though. Each one. Just an S. I'm not worried about the drips that just went on the canvas, because they're going to get covered up. I know, Maria. There are beach houses where you can bring a pet, but this is not one of them. My groomer will be watching her. <laughs> I don't trust the boys and Eddie to watch her while I'm gone. I know she'd like to sneak her along the way, but... I would. If she was tinier, I probably would. We have other objectives than amuse the puppy, right? Because she won't be a puppy then. Well, she'll still be a puppy, She's kind of. Yeah. So what are you doing? Pokey pokey. You gonna intermingle? No, 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 no. That takes too long. Well, I'm not very good at intermingling. Interesting how they all kind of went to the center. Except for this deadbeat over here. Who's going TikTok? Well, we don't do TikTok here. I know my groomer personally, so I don't have a problem with leaving Ellie there. She actually watches a, another Westie. <laughs> He's cute. So 
Candy Tart Cake. What was the purple you used? Morning Pansy and the Purple Raspberry. Morning Pansy would be dark. That's what's showing up. Maybe when you stretch it, it'll open up. I used to be like that, Linda. I would never go anywhere without the dogs. Because I didn't trust anybody to watch them. Now she don't go anywhere without me. I guess I'm your new dog. Rough, rough. You're not my dog. You're my Cinderella. <laughs> it's the name of Brian calls you. <laughs> we call him Snow White. Why has he got seven dwarfs? Well, there's going to be more than seven dwarfs. I'm just putting that down so it has a little paint to flow over so it doesn't fold over. If I got enough paint or not. Yes, Ryan, do I got enough paint? Brian would tell me if I didn't have enough paint. You know, I really like those colors together, but I think maybe too much of the more penny. Cuppy hand. Great grinds. I can't. I'm in the middle of something. Clock's ticking. make Eddie go to the groomer because he doesn't he's not social. He's skittish. He's all get out and this is good for him. He's not made to go anymore. Now he wants to go. He wants to just go in the car. He doesn't care where you take him. As long as it's not the vet. Yeah I wonder what it'd be like when we have to take him back for his shots. They probably will probably have to drag Just him in don't there. tell him. He smells it as soon as he gets there. I remember this place. Yeah, Eddie's a lab shepherd mix, but he's a rescue. He was very skittish from day one. He's much better than he used to be. He's got a little pit in him, too. Bitter rot. We haven't figured that out yet. No, nah, I'm pretty sure. I'm sure it's pretty. It's a pit. He gives me that look when I take away his T bone. <laughs> At least he can't bite you now. Oh, he can still bite. Yeah, he'll gum you. Ask Chris. He tried to take one away from him the other day. Towards that. These bitty bitty cells just start popping.
Sleeping Beauty turquoise just it's popping up a little in various areas here. Here it's real prevalent. A little in here in between the it'll look nice when it dries though. Warm that, penny. That warm penny will be darker. The sleeping beauty doesn't really change that much. And your white will sink just a little bit, so it won't be so in your face like that. Uh, that is Warren Penny from Decolor. It's a metallic dark copper. We're trying to use up those older metallics because we don't really use craft paint anymore. Except for color flash. <laughs> I like the, um, what was the ruby one that we used to buy? Red, ruby red or something? That's a pretty color. Purple too. red. No, the metallic. It was ruby. Ruby red, I think. Oh, you should see. You're going to have to scoop that. Scoop that. Got our collection of single tiles started already, so. Let's <laughs> do the drying rack first. I'm telling you, that one there, if I can save it, that is going to be gorgeous. Um, Let me look at it. Where's the tile? They're down on the shelf on the left, down there. Should be one or two left. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that would have been really pretty if I had a big cab. You have a big cab? I don't think I have one big enough. I'm scared. Dip your dip your sides first and then mm, you have to be careful scooping it. Yeah, there's nothing under there. I like to watch Alan pull tiles. Why? Because you scrape that palette knife down the tile. And I'm just warning you guys because you thought the balloon was bad. <laughs> Don't be giving away my secrets. Do you want me to go hold the other side? I really do not want to lose this one. Go flat. I don't think you're going to have enough paint. You might if you keep going. That should be good. So let that edge drop off when you start it. Go slow. Let it come off by itself. Never go backwards. Okay. Bummer. Nope. You aren't gonna make it. Bummer. I have an idea though. Okay. You got a tilt it. Tilt it. Load that up then. We gotta put something there. Just a little Just dot. A little dump, dump. Just a little dot of color is all you need. It's it's gonna run off the side when you tilt, I think. Okay. Hard tilt. Okay. 
tiles are so much different than canvas, aren't they? When you're tilting. Oh, your paint was on the side. You could always put white on the side and swipe it. They do get slippery. <laughs> Yeah, when I say hard tilt, that means like straight up and down. About what, Nate? <laughs> <sighs> I don't know at this point I didn't get it. No, but I think if you torch it, you're going to get those cells back. Oh, my hip. Yes, Nate. Not tonight, though. Because I really need to go to bed after I send out two emails. <laughs> I got resin on it today, so I don't really care. Isn't that your new one? Yep. So I don't have to feel as guilty about nope. it. No. I wrapped a rag around it and the resin went right through the rag. They didn't see it. Yeah, I lost it. I mean, it's still, <coughs> still going to be a nice tile with all those little cells, but I wish I could have captured what was on that. That looks gorgeous. Even if I do say so myself. Yes, I will. No, I just put it over there. All right, how much time did I take? That doesn't matter. I'm fast. I'm speed, Gonzalez. Right there. You can prep. Should be on top, top shelf. Oh. Oh. You hide that one. No, I don't hide those. Why would I hide them? Well, I didn't see it. Dusty. A little dusty. Thank you, Mo. Thank you, Linda. I do have an I have an appointment, Brian. Appointment for what? I can't say because it's a secret. And the secret would be out. Oh. Okay. All right, my colors, Moody Blue Shimmer, Chestnut Bronze, and Gold Rush.
Yeah, Linda said I made it in time. You got 10 minutes. I'm good. Watch how fast. No, no late date. He's just got a date with his pillow and his fire. I go in to go to bed and he's sleeping with his fire. <laughs> and the fire is keeping me warm. He has it under his pillow and I don't see it. I end up sleeping with it too. Uh, Linda Brown wants to know what was that pinkish color? What was that pinkish color? Purple Where raspberry? Purple raspberry, yes. It's like a pinkish purple. Okay. That's paint. Brian's like fire? He has Amazon Fire tablet. Because he's got to play bingo and casino games before he goes to bed. Yes, I said bingo. <laughs> Him and Maria with their bingo. It's a good brain numbing game. That's why I have Sudoku. No, I'm not going to say why you have Sudoku. <laughs> I What do I play? Blast? Cookie Blast or something? So Lynn Brown says she wishes she could get her hands on some of those 8x16s. The lobby has been out forever. I know. I... When I order, I make sure I get enough that's going to last me a while. Because when they're on sale, they're hard to get. But the reason you're not getting them is because they're coming from China. I need to adjust my camera. Sorry, guys. You're Shelly really said crooked. they're restocking where she is. Okay. I gotta spray my cup. Catherine wants to know is that your house base paint? Paint base. Uh, Creative Inspirations Titanium White. Mixed with flow trial and water. Um, our base paint mixing video is below every video link. So you can learn how to how we mix it. Okay, let's start with gold. And then some moody blue, some chestnut bronze. And I want to go one more round, but not as much gold this time. Because gold will dominate. Yep. Okay. What's that tip for those that are doing? Never go higher than your pinky finger with paint. Or you'll have too much. Okay, right in the middle. You can do it on the end. You can do it in a corner. Put it wherever you want it. There's no law that says you have to put it in the middle. Linda Brown says, tell Christina that her gorgeous box arrived and she absolutely loves it. Oh, good. You should see the smile it puts on her face. <laughs> I love making those boxes. I could do those all the time. Those and the bloom, the spin out blooms, I love doing them. And I know everybody's sick of blooms, but I'm not. I lost control of my cup there. I need that color. Nate says he wants like 12 of those boxes. <laughs> <laughs> They're hard to get now, too. I think I started a trend. But that's okay. I have a whole bin full in my shed. That's why we had to get a shed. That's not why. Well, for overstock. I keep all my shipping supplies out there and my bottles and stuff that you wouldn't normally have in your studio. Shipping supplies. I'm just moving that down 
So I have a lot of um, thin spots here that I just want to touch and see if I can get that to flow into there. Monica says she's just getting started on the balloons and she's waiting <clears throat> for her Aussie flow draw. Speaking of Aussie flow draw, <clears throat> Miss Kathy Carr. I don't think she's here. She sent me a bottle. All right, let me unstretch it now. Un un well, it was all stuffocated. <laughs> so here's a good question from Jen Sweeney. She says, so I've seen old videos who make their own canvas with building and stretching their own canvas. You can do that. Just buy rolls of canvas Is and it frames. Is worth it? No. I, I don't think so, because then you've got to gesso it. And Cheryl confirmed that she said she used to stretch her own canvas. It's not worth it. No. Her. These canvases here from Hobby Lobby that have the gasket in them are worth the extra buck or whatever per canvas. It's a good deal to me. Um, like the ones you get from Michael's, the student grade canvases, the level ones, they're fine like for beginners and for people that can't afford the, the better canvas. <coughs> Sorry, guys. But... Once you start painting to sell, like when I'm talking about artist prices, you want to definitely go with a two or a three. Poor Andrew, he says he's still live at the doctor office. Kidney stone is upsetting him. Alan knows all Eight about kidney stone. Rain is not coming. Not a happy puppy. Bump and jump. Apple juice. No. Cider vinegar. Lemon. Hot lemon water. That's how I got rid of my brothers. Apple cider. Apple cider yeah. vinegar. Yeah. But Alan does this thing, bump and jump. He stands on the back steps and jumps down. And then sits really fast and hard. He usually makes his fall down faster. Hello, Kim. Glad you could join us. You're not missing it all. Last one. <laughs> I like that. I'm not touching it. No, no, they're in the name calling. They're calling Ron a floozy. Ron, what did you do? So I had to turn my heat on out here yesterday because it was only like 68 out here, which is too cold for resin. So I thought, I'll put it on 65. Alan came out here, it was 78 degrees out here. It's like, I wonder why I was getting awfully warm. So I turned it down to, I think, 62. And it's what, 70? Four out here now. 76. Now. That's because we got the lights on. <laughs> Smart man. I know nothing. I hear nothing. I see nothing. I don't like that. What? When you do that. I'm like, oh, it's nothing. I'm like, come on, tell me. That's what he said. He just typed it. Ron Smith. I know nothing. I hear nothing. Because everyone's calling me crazy. Why is he a floozy? Because he's hitting at all the women. That's his job. <laughs> See, I did it. Perfect timing. Yeah, Maria and Shelly say, this is going to be gorgeous. Love it. Yes, he's flirting with the ladies. James says that came out great. I love this color combo. I saw it today. 
Um, if you don't watch Heather Wright, check her out. I sent her some paints. She did this color combo with a little tiny tile flip and drag. And I said, oh, I'm going to try that color combo tonight. And this is it. Very pretty. It's pretty amazing because you, because of the intermingling, you got more than just the three colors that are showing. Right, because I got some little greenish color here, too. So that's it, guys. Don't forget auction. Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, we'll probably have 30, 35 pieces. Very low starting bids. i got to get them out of here. Um, so I don't have so many to put on Etsy. <laughs> so and then I'm going to list them on Etsy. Very low prices, too, just to clear out. Because we have not had an auction since St. Jude's. And that was in March. So I can't sell that many. You know, you figure we're doing, what, six, seven a week? Plus all my little projects. Yeah. So... That's when you'll see us next time. Um, it's 11 o'clock here. So buyer pay shipping. Bids will be low. I think we'll probably do a minute and a half. Maybe two. We haven't decided for sure. But um, it'll be fun. Come hang out with us. All right, guys. We had fun again tonight, even though we were bickering just a little bit. We were? I think so. When? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you Saturday. Have a good evening. Bye now.